Hey everybody, Game Fixer here. So I'm gonna make a real quick video on how to figure out whether or not you've got isolation transformer in a cabinet such as this one. The transformer is kind of like an all-in-one deal and not a separate transformer that you would see in some dynamo cabinets and stuff like that. So um, as some of you might know, when you plug a monitor into wall power, and then plug your game board into it, bad things happen. So that's where you need that isolation transformer. So this particular monitor is an Electro Home Geo 7. It requires an ISO to work correctly and not fry things. So I'm gonna show you real quick how to figure that out, whether or not your cabinet's got an ISO in it without even digging through the cabinet. So the game's on. I'm gonna go around back real fast. There is our Geo 7. I'm just going to unplug it. I'm not going to turn the switch off. I'm not going to do anything else. I'm just going to unplug the game real quick. So now the game's unplugged. So I've got the power cord right here. Got my meter. I'm going to set the meter on a resistance scale. So if you... Let's see if I can do this one-handed here. If you put your probes across the two pins on the power cord you're going to get a pretty low resistance like so so it's a dead short is basically what the meter sees now obviously it's not a dead short because it would cause problems in the wall but that's what the meter sees now the way to check whether or not you've got an isolation transformer is to leave at least one probe on that outlet and then take your monitor power connector and probe at least one side of that. And what you should get is a really high resistance. And I'm talking high K ohms, mega ohms, really high or nothing at all. And as you can see, we got probe here, probe there, nothing. So that's how you figure out whether or not you've got an ISO in the cab. You can do this before you plug it in, before you blow anything up, before you cause yourself other headaches. It's, it's not pretty. If you do happen to plug it in and you damage something or you uh, don't have an ISO, this right here is gonna save you. If the monitor's got earth ground on it and you've got earth ground pin on your socket on the end of the cord, you're probably gonna be okay. If this isn't there or the pin's not there, then the frame of the monitor becomes about half wall voltage, so 60 ish or so, or so volts. And then the ground pin on your signal connector sends that 60 volts AC back to the logic board. That obviously isn't good. So there you have it. Anybody have any questions, just post them below.